Brain is the most complex organ in the human body. It's also very easy to fool. That's a theme of the program Brain Games on the National Geographic Channel. It uses experiments to challenge what we think we know about the brain. New York in the spring. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary from that sentence at all? Nope. New York in the spring. New, New York, York in, in the, the spring. spring. Nice job, guys. So, are we all in agreement that the sign says New York in the spring? Read it aloud one more time. If you think that's what it says, then you're like almost everyone else we surveyed. Incorrect. Jason Silva is the host of Brain Games. Welcome. Oh, thank you so much for having me. So all these things teach us how the brain <laughs> works. Wait, how is that incorrect? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you actually New York didn't notice in the spring. there was oh, an extra right. the in the sentence. It actually said New York in the the spring. Oh, and the, oh. could we see that again, please? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I swear to you, Jason, I read it New York in the well, spring. Yeah, and it's actually in the poster of our show, too. It says, think you can't be fooled, but it actually says, think you, you can't be fooled. Oh. And the reason that that happens is because your Wait. brain is so quick to extrapolate Information New York in the yeah. that it yeah. literally in, in, save, in saving energy sort of it doesn't there expect it to see a mistake so it doesn't see a the, mistake. The spring. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I People didn't won't see that. Did you catch that, Charlie? No, I didn't. I, I did not. not. Nora? No, no, I didn't either. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean that really kind of like sums up the okay. show. We do these kind of uh, perceptual experiments, these kind of cognitive hacks to reveal right. shortcomings in your perceptions of reality, to create a crack in your perceptions of reality, and by doing so, create that curiosity to then teach you how your brain works. And basically. back to my question: yeah. What does it tell you about how the brain works? Works. Well, it tells you that your brain receives incomplete information from the world and, and does its best exactly to complete right. that yeah. information. Right. Right. So like one fascinating fact that I learned in our episode on perception is that through our eyes, we can only perceive low resolution, flat 2D images. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's insane. Like, <laughs> the, the, if you think of our eyes like cameras, they, are, they see low res 2D images. They take in that limited information and they use that to construct the high def 3D reality we take for granted. So it's kind of like we really kind of do live in the matrix. Yeah. And, you know? and the, tell me if I'm right or wrong. And when the brain sees something, it, 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 it incorporates what it's already seen. Absolutely. And that's how it decides what it is. Absolutely. You bring to everything. Is he right or wrong, James? No, he's absolutely <laughs> right. Oh, he's right. Okay. Yes, and I know you what love you the brain. Oh, I just wanted Jason to weigh in because th this is Jason's mission, really, because you want people to know that the brain is hot, the brain is sexy. For a lot of people, I think, brain, my eyes start to glaze over. But Charlie agrees with you on this. The yeah. brain is hot and sexy, and that really is your mission. Well, the brain is responsible yeah. for everything. You know, the man-made world, our magical uh, smartphones that extend our thoughts, you know, that help us transcend our thoughts through time, space, and distance, technology is an extension of the human brain. I, I mean, go ahead. So one thing we want to know, how do male and female brains solve problems differently? Well, it's really interesting. We had an episode on the, you know, men are from Mars, women are from Venus, supposedly, and we had a game called Pack the Trunk in which couples were asked to, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we had two cars that were packed to the brim. Their trunks were packed to the brim, and then we, and then they had, they got, they got, they got to study the trunks, and then we emptied them. And then we had these couples compete to see who could repack the trunk better. And what we expected to find is that because male brains are said to have more spatial, better spatial reasoning, mm -hmm. that the men would be able to pack the trunk no. better. No, yeah. Gail and I could have told you <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. No. What, did you find, what did you find, Jason? Okay, yeah. we, we did. That is exactly what we found, actually. In the majority of the cases, the men <laughs> seem to be a little bit better. Rigged. The trunk. Really? Rigged. Yeah. 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 See, actually, I, I, really I agree with rigged. you. Okay, I'm sorry. sorry. We need to have a competition between yeah. Charlie I think that and would be Gail and Nora about who can pack the trunk better. I would love that. And the, the, well, the age old thing about directions. Yes. Who well, has a better sense of direction? Well, it is, it is said that men have a better sense of direction because when we evolved as early hominids, you know, in the savannas of Africa, the men had to go hunt and they had to figure out how to get back to the camp. So it's kind of like they have this built in GPS. You know, we're kind of wired that way. Yeah. Jason, they don't What's even the... like to ask for directions and then you're running exactly. all around an hour say. out of the way. Women yeah. are smart so, enough to ask for directions. That's right. Yeah, I will there's stop a little male pride. You know? So is it true? What did you find out? Yes, about yes. It is, oh. it is true that men tend to have a better sense of direction. Oh, yeah. Not that it matters anymore. Because because we're dovetailing those capacities to our smartphones. But tell so what are women better at then? Because you just keep talking about that men are better than women. So They're what are women better, better at? Intuitive you capacities, have no idea what you more in touch into. with their feelings. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what just, we're just more intuitive. Yeah. Uh, and I think you have many more strengths, actually. Than oh, well, list I think them if then. women yeah. ran the world, you know, we'd be in a much better situation. So I can go in many home safely. Ways. List them. Uh, list them. How are our brains better? I, I mean, I think definitely you guys are more in touch with your feelings. You're more intuitive. Oh, they don't want to hear that. Cl they cliche, know that. cliche. They know that. But the, cliche. the great exactly. thing about your show, though, on yes. brain games, you do lots of experiments like the one that we just yes. saw. Yes. I mean, I stood in front of the TV trying, like, do right. this, guys. Do this with your eyes open and then close one eye and try to bring your fingers together. Right. Yeah. And 
you cross. Yeah, you yeah. Cross. I mean, again, it seems like a simple oh, yeah. thing. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The, the games go. are all adapted from real experiments that have been done in the lab, and we've adapted yeah. them to be visual and interactive. Yeah. So we call this lean in programming. Like, you got to yeah. lean in, you got to play along. And then that creates the feeling of doo -doo 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 -doo, yeah. because you know, the, the things work, and then you yes. don't understand why that's going on. And that creates wonder, and that creates the curiosity to learn. And then we teach you about the brain. Yeah. And I think that's really relevant because you yes. have Obama's brain mapping initiative going right. on. In Europe, they're spending a billion right. dollars to right. reverse right. engineer near the brain. I mean, the brain is the seat of consciousness. And yes. the minute we can create and reverse engineer the brain, I mean, that's the singularity. You're familiar with he that. Well, I am fun. indeed. I've been like more honest like the idea of the brain than any other single subject yeah. on yeah. my program. Oh, what were you going to say, Nora? I like him. Yeah. No, I like oh, him. You like him. I like you, like you too. <laughs> I like you too. You like him very much. And, and I'm on her side and her side. <laughs>